Hello, my dear and lovelies, Mr. G here. Today, I want to look at the relationship between electricity and magnetism. So to do that, we've got some 9-volt batteries and some wire, the alligator clips. I've got my voltage meter. I have a compass and a bar magnet. Let's have a look. Bit of electrical current. So let's go ahead and connect several batteries together. We'll go ahead and connect four batteries together and see what kind of electrical current we get out of that. We will connect our two wires. We'll do a simple test first. Do I have power? Yes, clearly I have power. The question is how much power do I have? So, let's move the voltage meter into play and we'll go ahead and connect negative to negative, positive to positive. And as you can see, I have a good 30 volts of electrical current. So, disconnect that, move that out of the way, slide this aside. A compass, as you know, is a very simple device. It's just a magnetized needle, which points towards the Earth's magnetic pole. As it is simply a magnet, an ordinary magnet, when placed near it, and force the needle to point towards the magnet or away from it, whichever the case may be. Our compass is once again pointing north, and now I will bring our electrical circuit back into play. I'm going to take the two alligator clips, close them together to complete the circuit. Another reason why I'm using the two alligator clips is because in all points our wires are insulated, except at the clips. Let's see what happens as I pass this exposed metal with electric current running through it over the compass. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A magnetic field created by electric current passing through a conductor. 